of adventure and dreams where sparkles rain down from the sky. We will soar through the night on equestrian wings, leaving rainbows behind as we fly. With my strawberry locks flowing wildly about, I'll ring you a magical bell. Lest a demon approaches, we'll stand side by side. Our sisterly bond breaks the spell. Come and ride with me. that awesome intro welcome to duke nukem land of the babes this is uh it's still negroth here and let's go ahead and get into gameplay come get some kind of hard to miss. Duke, I'm Jane Bilbo, a member of the Univide Bay Resistance. I was sent here by our leader, Houston, to update you on the situation. Why? Were Dallas and Austin too busy? Well, yes, they were actually, but that's not important now. Duke, aliens arrived here ten years ago and exterminated the entire Tire male population. They've since enslaved Earth's females. However, some of us managed to escape and have formed the Resistance. Now we need your help. When will those alien bastards learn not to screw with my planet, my babes, or my vacation? You should have gone sooner. We couldn't. Our time machine was destroyed early in the alien invasion. And only temporarily repaired enough to send a small group through. The scientists that can completely restore the time machine have been kidnapped by the aliens to work on some secret project. Let me guess. This is where I come in. Yes, but there's more to the aliens have genetically created a new species to help in their plan. These simian warriors have the strength of ten and are nearly impossible to stop. Their leader, Silverback, is the one commanding this invasion on our base. You must stop him and help rescue our scientists. But first, you must restore the power to this base and get to the surface. If I need to contact you, I will do it via your Shade's operating system built into your sunglasses. So let me get this straight. 
You need my help to save you from a bunch of hairy aliens with a bad attitude. Just point me in the right direction. I'll have this settled in no time. And with that, uh, Jesus fucking Christ, who would have thought a Duke Nukem game would have needed so much fucking storyline, but yes, this is Duke Nukem Land of the Babes. I am still Negara. Uh, this game came out about a year or two after, uh, Time to Kill. It's still made by InSpace, so it shares a lot of the same control schemes and great ideas that came along with Time to Kill, but it has some new I'm additions, shaking, baby. such it as, um, I will say a lot more misogyny. There's a, there's a lot of women being killed in this game, and when I was first playing through this, it made me feel pretty uncomfortable, for the most part, to see huge leaping rats with guns mer mercilessly slaughtering women, but, you know, whatever makes 3D Realms happy. Uh, another new addition to this game that actually sh ended up showing up later in Duke Nukem Forever, for those who haven't played it yet, is the replacement of the health bar, or the, uh, the health meter with the ego meter. You can see it in the lower left hand corner, which, uh, it may initially look like a health number, but it actually works very similar to the ego meter from Duke Nukem Forever, in that whenever you do... Oh, it looks like she gave oh no, it's a dead woman. It's been a couple minutes since we've seen one of those. Hmm, that looks pretty sturdy. But yeah, um... Basically, whenever you take damage, you'll see like Just a negative number. Uh, but you'll see more often than not, uh... You know, positive numbers. But first, let's save this woman from uh, a monkey. By shooting him in the face. Thanks, dude. Oh, that's... That's some animation right there, but yeah, by, you know, saving women or finding secrets or killing enemies, well, Duke will actually get back some of his ego because he did something badass. Um, when and if I get to Duke Nukem Forever, we'll see a similar thing, but for right now, we'll just uh, climb along like a, a monkey of our own making, not only to poke this woman, to get some hey, hey, uh, you dialogue, Duke, to say the least. But you also get a little bit of you get a little bit of an ego boost from talking That's to women, just way. like in real life. Am I right, guys? Yeah, we're all loners. But no, um, the the only negative thing is that whenever you are over a hundred, you'll notice that your ego starts counting down. So it doesn't really last that long, to say the least. So usually rescuing someone or completing an objective is at most a means to get back up to 100 health, but you're never going to be staying at like 150 health or something. But with that, we've uh, found the first secret of the level just by bombing out that wall. We've now got an RPG, and as of right now, we actually have a pretty good arsenal. We already have a shotgun, a pistol, um, you know, we picked up the RPG. We also picked up a laser blaster. Which is a new weapon for, you know, the, the, this 3D platforming series. The, uh, the laser blaster actually ended up showing up in the, uh, the Duke Plus game that I, that I've been doing as well. So I don't, I don't know if that's, uh, you know, some eerie coincidence or not. But yeah, as, uh, as was pointed out, there's the whole story to this is kind of the reverse of Time to Kill and that we have now gone into Duke's dystopian future where you know there's no men and the women are enslaved by animal men creatures led by some guy named Silverback who I assume is a, a monkey and very disconsorting jiggle physics and yeah, just misogyny everywhere this game is kind of disgusting but, you know, I'll, uh, I'll tough through it. More story. Good job, Duke. The power is restored. Now you need to find a way out of this section of the base. I'm on it, Jane. Consider it done. I'll see you topside. Duke out. Yeah, um, 
Land of the Babes also has a lot more dialogue and cutscenes. Uh, it's gonna be up to you, the viewer, to determine if this is a negative or a positive, as uh, most of the dialogue is pretty awful. And most of the cutscenes are... <laughs> something. But yeah, um, quest item. What does it do? It, it's a secret. That's, that's all it does. It does give you a bit of health, and so does finding the secret itself, but, you know, by the time we actually get into combat, about half of that health is gone. But they actually do give you a reason to uh, find the secrets in this game, and that uh, if you do manage to find all the secrets on a level, you will unlock a semi-useless cheat like Big Head Mode or different things like that. But yeah, uh, the enemies mostly that we've been facing so far have been rat men. They're kind of the base grunt. They're not too difficult to take out. They don't do that much damage, but ugh. Hello? Hello, and thank you for calling Movie Times. Today's remaining shows are... Oh, we, we need to hear more phone calls, don't we? Hello? What's up? What's up? So what's up, Duke? Just kicking some ass, drinking a brew. True. True. Hello? Duke, I miss you so much. Can you come over real quick? I got an itch only you can scratch. Not now, Laura. I'm kind of busy. You'll have to use your own fingers. Jesus Christ, this game makes me feel fucking dirty. But, uh, yeah, dated references aside, there, there is still the common Duke Nukem humor in the game is just it's really uncomfortable to say the least but we have another secret in here it is a duke biography I well I assume it's uh, his how I got to be so great book that is uh, referenced quite a bit throughout the series and you know the, these electrical little blasts here aren't too difficult to deal with they only do like 10 damage so it's not like it really is gonna hurt that much but yeah, the, the Duke biography, or oh, storyline. Yeah. Duke, we're making our way up to the surface and need you with us ASAP. The elevator's out. We're going to need to find another way up here. Duke, you had to continue the way you were going. Whee! Oh, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, the, the Duke biography actually works as the You're portable the med kit in this game. And uh, we're getting a few more additional enemies in here, like cockroaches. Deadly cockroaches. And obviously pig cops, because pig cops have to be in every game, but they decided that um, this game needed more animal-themed enemies. So they went with, like, monkeys and the lizards from Time to Kill and, you know, rats and roaches and... Uh, I'm sure there's some kind of bestiality theme somewhere in there, or there's got to be some kind of furry fan art, but I won't go into that. For right now, we're going to redirect this laser for our bidding. Not to say that even looks like a reflective service, it just looks like concrete, but whatever. This is actually going to lead to the exit of the level. I mean, and this is the laser blaster, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Just gotta move this minecart here to learn more about pushing and pulling the difficulties of moving. And just shoot out this grate, and up this ladder will be the exit in a cutscene. Another day, another dusty air. How about these jokes, folks? But we'll see you next time on more Land of the Babes.